So my name's Colin McKinnon, I'm the MD of Insight. Uh, Insight's really been created to do a couple of things. So firstly, we're looking to build a cluster effect around Infinity Park Derby, the new innovation centre. Really what we want to do is create a sort of internationally recognised cluster that uh, that's very much centred around the aerospace, automotive and rail sectors, bringing together the OEMs and the SME community and also linking them in with high-tech research that's taking place in our university partners. And secondly, we're developing a programme of activity from now actually, before the innovation centre gets up and running. And really we're looking to work proactively with the SME community and with the OEMs to start the sort of activities around innovation that we really want to develop when the Innovation Centre gets built. So what we did um, three or four years ago is carry out a study under the banner planes, trains and automobiles to identify what was necessary to both support um, and strengthen the city's position nationally and globally in advanced technology and engineering. So with that strategic assessment, uh, a number of gaps were identified, a number of areas that we need to strengthen, and one specific area was, is around supporting our uh, organisations, the likes of Toyota, Bombardier and Rolls-Royce, in their own growth ambitions when, when they obviously are in that competitive global market. In, in terms of planes, trains and automobiles being our focus, of course, significant global players, the likes of Rolls-Royce, who are constantly achieving new orders uh, for their next 30 years order book in, in the billions. Indeed, their growth ambition is to double their turnover over the next five years and produce more engines in the next five years than they have in the last 18 years. So to be based in Derby, employing 13,000 people, a key player, key ambitions, but they need support from the likes of the Innovation Centre and the uh, Infinity Park development. So Insight essentially has four four components, four themes to what we're trying to do. So the first theme is around technology, the second theme is around supply chain management, uh, the third theme is around diversification, looking at new products for example, and the fourth theme is around workforce development. And, and for us really what we're trying to do is adopt a holistic approach for, for companies that want to be become innovative, that want to develop new things. And Really it's important to consider all those things in the round. So for example, if a company needs a new piece of equipment to be able to produce a higher quality product, then it's very important to tag onto that a workforce development package as well so that the people that are actually operating the machine are trained up in the right techniques to make the most of that. Uh, so really Insight's going into organisations and working with them amongst those four themes and it's, it's maybe that all organisations don't need all four of those things but what we'd like to do is proactively work with them to find out what of those four things they, they could use and then uh, we'll put a package in place to actually work proactively with them using the partners that we've got. I think for many years this is probably the best time for inside activity. The reason is very simple. We are doing well in manufacturing again. And I think what we need is now the entire supply chain to be developed along with the big corporations who are doing manufacturing product development, technology development, and we should be all working together for that. At the University of Derby Corporate, we're really excited about the um, development of Ensight as a, as a partnership um, and the focus they'll be adopting in, in the technology space, both for automotive and rail and so on. Um, and we certainly see our uh, working relationship with them being focused on uh, the skill areas that they uncover, the skill needs that they, they see as part of the approach to, uh, to supporting uh, the supply chains of, of those major industries and organisations. If we think about manufacturing, we have been through at least three manufacturing paradigms, three sets of ideas about what good manufacturing looks like. In the 1800s, we organized manufacturing on the basis of craft production systems. In the 1900s, early 1900s, we manufactured, we organized manufacturing on the basis of mass production, and then we went into lean production. And now we're moving into a fourth paradigm, a fourth set of ideas about what it means to be a manufacturer. And servitization is that fourth set of ideas. And servitisation really represents that for me. It represents this completely new way, this fresh way of thinking about how we can take manufacturing forward. It's not about letting go of manufacturing companies and saying, oh, we're about service, not manufacturing. Neither is it living in this old world of saying, we're about manufacturing, we're about products. It's about this hybrid. It's about saying, we're manufacturing companies. We develop IP through our design, our, our production capabilities. But rather than exploiting that IP as a product, we actually sell the capability that product enables. So Aston got involved with Ensight in the early days of the programme. We helped, in part, to shape the activity there. We particularly 
keen to be engaged so that we can bring our work on servitisation into manufacturing companies. We are one of the most active universities in manufacturing and materials and design research and what we would like to see that we support our key customers like Rolls-Royce, like Airbus, like Bombardier Transportation in the supply chain development. Here at Bowler Motorsport, we, you know, the clue's in the name, you know, we're a motorsport company, we make rally cars and that includes everything from long distance rallies for the Paris-Dakar, those type of incredible 12 day, 12,000 kilometre events, um, down to rallies in the UK and everything in between. And it's a fascinating business because you know, with, whenever we go to a rally and people see us working with Land Rovers, they're surprised because Land Rover historically has off-road capability but hasn't really ever been racing. Numerous challenges to get into the supply chain of OEMs and Tier 1 and Tier 2. It varies everything from being a really small company, from people taking you seriously, which is one area that you have to start with, moving up to working to their very, very stringent quality standards. Other areas are you have to adopt a certain level of technology. So for instance, there's an industry standard CAD system. So if you don't have that, it doesn't matter how good you are, it makes life much more difficult. So you have to have all sorts of processes, um, systems, and even down to the training of your people and your staff, you know, it's, it's quite a difficult, it's quite a challenge. And quality standards are absolutely fundamental if you're working to OEM levels. And also things just as efficiency, you know, you've got to make sure that a small business can operate as efficiently as it can so you can divert all of your attention to the right areas to getting into the supply chain. It's very much about uh, technology and this is how we interface with Endsight, so the Endsight team, and, and bring companies to us um, and we uh, help technologically with technological innovation so things like uh, rapid prototyping, design uh, and solving manufacturing problems. We design and prototype develop seats for the automotive market, principally the automotive market. Designing and prototyping we do that for a number of customers um, sometimes tier one customers, sometimes OEMs such as Nissan, Aston Martin. At the moment we can see an opportunity for a lightweight seat. The Ensite funding is required specifically for the tooling, production tooling and the testing to automotive safety standards of the seat. Production tooling is expensive and testing is also expensive. Too expensive for us to fund and too expensive for the relatively fledgling um, low carbon vehicle market to fund. Motorsport has a lot of uh, disciplines within it in terms of lightweight, maximum performance, all those sort of areas that can apply into other areas of the car industry. Certainly with lightweight at the moment, everyone's looking to reduce weight and increase performance. So that's something that we, we do and we're pleased to be doing that because it means that the work we're doing with Ensight sort of links in with that as well. So we've got access to the universities and you know, they're always, people don't often understand how far up the curve there are universities are in terms of research and it's very difficult to get to pay for that research unless you're a partner with the universities. So the Innovation Centre is going to be a fantastic new facility so right at the heart of Infinity Park and really what we want to create is a, as a really big internationally recognised cluster of activity around that. We're going to have both workshop space and office space for both startup companies and existing businesses and really it will be it will be very active space so we'll be working very very closely with our key partners and with the community of people that go into that space. We need to think about innovation and to, to look at how we can actually increase the collaboration between the different parties in the supply chain, both the OEMs, the universities and also the SMEs themselves. Ensight have really helped us so far in the fact that they, they understand small businesses. So we did have some discussions with traditional lenders and obviously that's quite difficult to explain because they won't lend on potential, they only lend on historical performance. So Ensight have been good in the fact they've seen what we do and how it fits into the bigger supply chain. And it's great because it means that you know, we can fit into the supply chain, but also we can share best practice with what we've learned to other people that can help others within the Ensight group. So it's been really good.